The Hebrew text in the Bible has hidden formats. By revealing these formats, I will prove the first writer's words were hidden from you. These formats look like poetry as I group them into small paragraphs. Their grouping will become known as a psalm, and together they become psalms. Let me show you our Creator's 12 commandments, listed in Exodus chapter 20, verses 1 through 17. Any father of a family or his wife who did not obey any one of these 12 commandments, our Creator demanded they bring him a sin offering. Thus, our Creator defined the word sin as not obeying any one of these 12 commandments. Next, I want to show you how I changed one word in Exodus 26, verse 26, the word bars to arches, and the words now reveal the style of the roof for our Creator's tent for meeting with Him. Let me show you the translator's words from the preface of the 1611 King James Bible. They gave four reasons for themselves or others to edit the Bible's words. The red arrow at the top points to their third reason to edit the text. By the light and feeling we attained unto ourselves. The next red arrow down points to them giving the title, The Divine, to a clerk named Gregory. The next block of words, they point out they were happy that the first emperor of Rome established the year to the course of the sun. Behind this text means Nebuchadnezzar ordered his kingdom to follow our creator's calendar when he stopped eating grass. Did you notice the letter S in sun is capitalized? This is to give respect to the Egyptian sun god Ra. Have you seen the Egyptian obelisk in the Vatican's front yard? The last arrow points to your reward for studying the Bible. Your reward is to have a fellowship with the saints and participation of a heavenly nature that will never fade away. There is no such thing as nature to a truthful Christian. Our Creator created everything. By their own words, they were not seeking to know our Creator or Jesus. Not everyone has the knowledge to correct every word. I have an old Bible program that has the New American Standard Bible 1977 concordance to help find a better word. Their concordance has the number of times they use that English word in a parenthesis for that Hebrew word. The translators removed his name, YHVH, to put in two titles, Lord and God. I replaced those titles using the letters Y and V as his name. For the Hebrew language does not have a J, O, or W. By using these two letters, I am closer to the truth than anyone using J, O, or W for his name. So why is there a single letter O in the Hebrew text 1,095 times? No proper English was used. The blue highlighted text is text that I am removing. The red highlighted words are little words that I'm adding. Gray italic words are words that I added. To respect and honor our Creator, all capital letters in purple are our Creator's words. This is Jesus' prophecy, for I am revealing the first writer's words to tell you the true truths about Jesus. As the text is revealed, you can read taste the writer's style of wording. Their words will take your belief to trusting our Creator. You will be watching prophecy before your eyes as I added true truths back into their psalms. All right, I'm going to do what it says above here, make it easy. Uh, and this is so easy, atheists can uh, do this. But the object is, is those are the rules. Take a quick snapshot, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, turn on uh, my story. Now, this will be Psalm 54, and the words in parentheses means that they were found in other manuscripts, so they decided to add them to the text. And uh, you'll find that most of these, especially with anything in instruments, they don't sing these. What I'm actually finding is the first writer's words that are psalms. And you've seen some of that uh, in the intro. So. A save, save me, our Creator, by your name, vindicate me, and vindicate me by your power. 
Hear my prayer, our Creator, and listen to my words. Give ear to my words in my mouth. For strangers have risen against me, and violent men have sought my life. They have not set our Creator. They have not set our Creator before them. That's an awfully long verse. Behold, our Creator is my helper. The Lord is my sustainer of my soul. But if this is Jesus, he's the savior of your of the soul. He will recompense the evil. Well, I don't know where to cut that, destroy them in your faithfulness. Willingly I sacrifice to you. Well, actually, this person does not understand what a sacrifice is. I will give thanks to your name, Wivy, for it is good. Notice how he's calling the name of our Creator and it, for it is good to give thanks to your name. I don't know about the word it there. I guess he's not calling our Creator an it or his name an it, but the way he says it, if I give thanks, that's that's an it. For he has delivered me. From all my troubles. And my eyes have looked. Oh, that was satisfaction. We don't need those words. Upon my enemies. Okay. So it's getting a little bit better, clearer, but this, this will be out. Now, you're, if you're new here and you're wondering why you don't see the title God here is because I've, I searched all 2,325 verses and I read them individually trying to understand what the words were saying. And when you say our creator, it is very important why you say that. Um, for example, if I just pull up this one here that I just got done doing, and when it says, this used to say, God, our evil ones say in their hearts, there is no our creator. That's very personal to them because our creator created the nation Israel, and that's the way they spoke about how they exist, as our creator created us and our creator looks over us and protects us as long as we do as our forefathers agreed with them in the Sinai. So there was very few verses that I didn't find the word our creator actually working. So replacing the title of God for the word creator is a better and more first person. Save me our creator. I think he would probably say my creator. Save me my creator. And it wouldn't be by your name. Vindicate me by your power. Now, I don't like the way that's being said here, but it does kind of group, so let's go on and try to group to see if I need to put by your name here. Hear my prayer, creator. Hear my prayer, creator. Well, it looks like I'm going to need the word my here again. Hear my prayer, my creator.
I don't need the words by creator here, but hear my prayer. Give ear. When I've seen the word give ear, that means listen. So did they really say the words give ear, or does it mean that, does this actually just one word, listen? And no, we can't go looking at the Hebrew text. <sighs> Sorry about that, but uh, I don't think you're being quite what I would call an honest person texting here. So um, let me see. I don't know how to do this right now. Uh, now, why is it working? Is it over here? Uh, how come I don't see this? Yeah, I think that's how I do it. Sorry about that. Somebody's trying to put up text in the comments that doesn't mean need to be there. Uh, save me, my creator, and vindicate me by your power. Hear my prayer and listen to the words. Give ear to the words from, not of my mouth, but this will be from my mouth. To the word to the words from my mouth for strangers rise against me and violent men have sought my life okay that seems to be a three verse there so this one seems to be a three verse. And I'm not sure if the first one's going to be gone and I just need to start here. Because these two go together. So I really don't need any of this. Although... Maybe that's a little too early. Um, they have not set our creator before them. Well, actually, this verse is kind of wanting to go here. They have sought my life. For they have not set our Creator before them. If he's talking to our Creator, how come it's, I can't put the word my Creator here, or they have not set, save me Creator, hear my prayer, my Creator, set I don't think you can set our creator before anybody, so that one's out. Behold, don't need the word behold. Our creator is my helper. The Lord, this would have to be my my Lord, meaning Jesus, then it's in red now. I use that just to highlight when I'm doing those searches. Um, when I do the text, pulled it over here to help me look for the title that they were using in the Hebrew side. But I don't think I need to do that because I'm pretty sure this is meaning Lord, the uh, provider for you. 
Uh, my Lord. My Lord. And that is the sustainer of my soul. In fact, I'm seeing that that's a two verse. And then maybe this is actually is going with this verse. So maybe I was a little too quick when I stuck it up there and then I realized it didn't go with that one. Um, Okay, I can see that as that, then I have to use the word yet here. Yet our creator, it's to make it flow. Uh, they have. They do not set. I don't like the word set. I like the word seek. Seek after our creator. So let me see. And this is the next one down, so I'll find the word seek in here. Set. Set. And I was looking for the word seek, and I don't see it here. Place, put, set. It's a lot of times for the word set. Make. Um, I don't even like any of those words. So what's a better word here? They do not believe our creator. They have not, they do not believe in our creator. And then I don't need the word before them. That helps because you can't set our creator before him. So if I get rid of them words, then this becomes a little bit more reasonable. They did. Oops. They did not, I still like the word seek, but I gotta make it actually gray text that I'm adding and completely removing the word set. You have to seek our creator by talking to him and then petitioning him. They did not seek our creator, yet our creator is my help. It wouldn't be helper, but he helps him. So I'm thinking it's got to be like this. Is my help, not helper. Yet our creator helps me. If I get rid of that, get rid of um. Helps me, period. Maybe I did that too quickly. Nope. Then I need the word and here. I just need some random 
where it's to start. Otherwise, it's going to make it like an eight point. And my lord is the sustainer. Um, I want to put the word savior there. I doubt if I'm going to get sustainer, the savior here. Oh. Well, I don't know. I'm having a hard time with any of these words right now. <laughs> okay it's another one that i have to add because uh i have to add the word savior whoops but it's got to be yellow or uh, gray excuse me that i add it my lord is My Savior, not the Savior. My Lord is my Savior. And I don't need the words this. But that's how I arrived to the word Savior. Wow, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with me. Um, shouldn't be sleepy at all. Wow, those things don't taste good. <laughs> Hope that stops my yawning. Go rump. Recompense. Only used once and we found it. Okay, wait a second, a few more times. Um... Return 263 times. Uh, how does that get? He will return their evil. Now, whether we're... Because we're talking about Savior here, and I'm looking at how is that Because I actually see this, and then these two, um, that as a group right there, those two. And then this one here needs like two spaces to set up the next. We did not seek our creator, yet our creator helps me, and my Lord is my savior. I want to say repay, or 
but Jesus doesn't really repay them except for sending them away or not allowing them into heaven. So, but it is sounding like these two words are going to mean Jesus. Oops, what's the word? He will repay. Have sought my life. I'm looking for how I defined, because the word is not really, I haven't read anything that says these are evil people, except for they're trying to kill them. <laughs> so the thing here is, is that would be like a war going on or a king having people wanting to kill him, uh, or a prophet calling to our creator, talking about uh, for the strangers in the land have ruined and violent men seek my life, have sought my life. They did not seek our creator. He will... I, I got to put in there repay, not return. Yeah, I'm looking at, I don't, the only, yeah, I don't, well, let me, Well, I guess it is. There is the word repay here. I didn't see that before. Oh, no, that's reply. No, right here, yeah, repay five times. So I will use that word, repay. He will repay... It's got to be their evil. To kill him is that evilness. Uh, I'm trying to think how I'm defining evils against our creator. He's not against him. or I don't know because I'm not seeing the words up here enough to define that they're killing him because um, of, they are against our creator. But evil is against one of the commandments by killing them. Hey, whether they're king. But I don't see there see anything that's saying there's about a battle yet. So he will repay their evilness is the best I can come up with here. And I'm kind of satisfied with that. And I don't see how they're destroying. And destroy them. And this has to be his, not yours, but this has to be. I don't think faithfulness is the right word to be said here. But by his, because we have to be talking about our career, about Jesus here. That'd be a capital B-Y. That'd be this. And get rid of this. He will repay their evilness and destroy them by 
is I want to say obedience. Let's see what happens with faithfulness. What happens um, by his truth? Like I could use that. That's 80 times. Yep. And it wouldn't be by his truth. It would be, um, well, maybe. No. Okay, so that goes out, this goes up. I will willingly sacrifice to you. No, that doesn't happen. <laughs> this writer doesn't understand the word sacrifice. What is a sacrifice? Do you know what a sacrifice is? Well, let me explain it. For not obeying the ten com or the twelve commandments, our Creator said for them to bring a sin offering. So these twelve commandments are known as your sins. Now, they were to atone for their sin by not obeying our Creator, or one of those uh, twelve, and they needed to take. I'll use the ram for example the ram to their priest, lay their hand on the uh, ram's head, tell the priest which ones he did not obey or him or his wife did not obey, and then they would kill the animal, sacrifice the animal, take the uh, hide off, and then remove the muscles. Now, the muscles are the action of the sin, okay? Now, they would take that, the attendant would have the plate, the priest would be putting them on the plate. Then they would take them into the altar for that tribe. And on the altar were uh, hooks on stands that they would put the meat on or the muscle on. And then they would build a fire over underneath it, a large, strong fire to burn up the meat. And to burn it, the smoke would rise and then it would disappear, like being forgiven and forgot. Okay? This person does not understand what the word sacrifice is because it's the offering that's burnt up. And it's not a burnt offering. It's no more different than it is sin offering is so now you know the, the what a sacrifice is and the offering is about so and destroy them by his truth could it be with his truth by his truth would seem okay i guess and then I will give thanks. And I think I need this verse, so I will give thanks to Wivy. Okay. Because he's his savior, and we got to have our creator tied in here, so we'd have a complete two-verse grouping. And it's fitting together pretty good. Now this... Um, I don't need any of this because he doesn't explain that he is a king. Um, nor our creator has come out and killed anybody for him. So this text is not needed. Uh, but it's not all his troubles. Uh, the word delivery would be if they went into battle, he delivered them. Uh, so uh, these words aren't going to be around either. So let me take this now and do a cleanup. 
and see where I stand with this text. Seeking are the first writer's word. Mm. All right, now what it means here is when I'm looking at this one here, I don't need this at all. That's just, it's not needed. It's going to be repetitive if I use that again. But these two hook to make a paragraph, a larger paragraph. This is like a small paragraph, and this is like another small paragraph. But when putting them together, makes one large paragraph. Okay, and hear my prayer. Hear my prayer, my creator. Give ear to the words from my mouth. For strangers rise against me, and violent men have sought my life. They did not seek our creator, yet our creator helps me, and my Lord is, has the capital S in red, is my savior. He will repair their evilness and destroy them by his truth. I need the word and down here. And I will give thanks to Wivy. Now, this text all of a sudden would be a prophet that is being chased. Okay. Oops, don't need this here. Get rid of that. And then up here. And get rid of that as well. And then I get rid of these numbers. I don't need them anymore. It's all cleaned up. I don't think I need to edit anymore. I just need to say time for a screenshot here. Oops. Yeah, it fills the screen for you to be able to take a screenshot. And there. Now, these words I'm going to put down as. Oh, I forgot to label the other one, uh, the one I just done. Um, these are. Hear my prayer. I agree. I, I'm just reading that over, and I just had a stunning thought here. Um, when I'm saying, hear my prayer, it's our Creator heard my prayer. And gave ear to the ear, and gave ear, gave his ear to my word. And oh man, I'm gonna. I I definitely need to do more editing here. What I want to do is do. If I take this, make it small, make it yellow, then come up here and put it here and put the period. My creator heard. Heard my prayer. the words from my mouth, so I don't need these. Those words were bugging me. My creator, whoops, I got to put this in yellow up here as well, just to show that I moved it from here to there. My creator heard my prayer Heard my prayer, the words from my mouth. My creator heard my prayer. Mm -hmm. 
How about even this? My crew. It would be our creator. Our creator. Heard by prayer. I don't know I want to do this. Um, I'm thinking give ear. I want to put listened. Whoops, I got that all messed up. But how do I list in this? Your creator heard my prayer. Or he listened. Or he listened to the words from my mouth. As strangers, he's pleading to our creator. He's telling you that he did. So these are more or less words from a prophet. Our creator heard my prayer for he listened to the words from my mouth. Only a, only a prophet would um, have his ear, <laughs> okay? I'm just saying that that has to be that way. Uh, as strangers, rised against me, not risen. I think it was arisen against me um, as strangers rised against me. Because I'm trying to make sure that the word arised works with the next two sentences. As strangers rised against me. And violent men sought my life. I don't need the word have here. I was trying to get rid of the word and, so I was a little hesitant. Uh, sorry about that. As strangers rised, raised, rised. As strangers... Okay, let me see what happens here. I'm not liking this word at all now. It was risen. Rose against me. Okay, that that was too easy. How come that word didn't come to my head? Um, don't need this. Changing that to that. Although... Okay, I'm thinking, of, I don't like adding two words to mean the same thing. And we know rose is a flower. And I don't want, I don't think they had roses. Um, in Israel in any of the other text. Um... The strangers rose against me. Violent men sought my life. Strangers rose against me. Yeah, I'm going to have to keep the word and. 
and violent men sought my life. They did not seek our Creator yet. Now when it says they did not seek our Creator, it's not strangers. If he's a prophet, what's the other ones? Uh, soothsayers, um, diviners. As diviners rose against me. That's the answer to be correct here. As diviners rose against me. Their violent men sought my life. Now that, now that, if you're paying attention, that is definitely who's against a prophet would have been the diviners in the land. Now let me tell you a story why this is so clear to me right now. How you doing? Uh, bear track? Bear track? Yeah. Sorry about that. Gentlemen, I've... Uh, <laughs> Are you an ex-poster? Uh, I don't... Um, uh, <laughs> now, I'm not familiar with the slang as ex-poster, but a forward slash ex-poster. Uh, I know what coding is, and I am number one Q in the world. Um, if you're talking about X-Men helping humans, um, I'm the one that uh, convinced the X-Men or the X-Men to become helpers of humans. So what I'm doing here is proving these formats exist in the uh, in the Hebrew side of the text. So what I can do is show you a verse like this and then point out to you that the first sentence uh, becomes a statement and then the next two connect together to describe the statement. This makes a small paragraph, otherwise known as a psalm. And then it, when it's repeated and they hook together, these two make a larger uh, paragraph. And then I've got a space because then these do this and then these do this. It's actually beautiful writing when you see it. I don't think we have anybody writing like that in the world today. So um, I'm kicking uh, Q. <laughs> Uh, the one with the regular Q, out. Um, not dot, 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 huh? <laughs> no, that, that's gone. Uh, that's against our creator. That's what a diviner does. So, but I was working on this psalm here, uh, and it came out really, really good. I just didn't realize what I'm trying to do right now is to figure out who would have wrote these words? And I've now decided that it was a, a prophet that wrote these words. That's why I'm using the word diviners here. Um, I know better than to go to any site that you guys want to pull up or tell me about. Uh, so I don't do any of that. I've got 400 of my own videos up. And it's all proving that there's hidden formats in the text. And I've actually seen our, our, our creator made me see him eight times. So I am uh, been sent. I am a prophet. So I don't need advice from anybody. I seek answers from my creator. Um, but I know that these words kind of tie to an event that I can't remember what happened to Elijah or Elijah where when he went and talked to King Ahab and told him 
that you bring your diviners or prophets and we'll have a contest we'll sacrifice an animal and we'll make an offering to our creator and whosoever creator answers them is the true creator of all life and um, that's the story that they danced around it for hours up until noon or later and then uh, Elijah or Elijah I can't remember he went and poured water all over his and then turned looked towards heaven which is uh, location is above the North Star that's where heaven is located um, and then fire descended down and King Ahab immediately said that he is for our creator and turned the king of Israel around at that time for him to become a good king and then these diviners actually sought to kill him he sought out a cave in if you understand the land structure how Israel is got like a mountainous range up here and this is the sea level and then way down here below level is Jordan River and as it slopes down there was these caves and he was hiding out in a cave and our, to and our creator asked him why is he hiding <laughs> and he said they're after me and then our creator said I don't care get, you get back out there and you go back and talk to King Ahab again so this story has to be from Elijah because it is nothing but his words in the story I've just told you about right here so and I think he was calling upon him in the cave I'm not sure words from Elijah Yeah, I think I'll leave it at that. Although I better put a couple question marks. And then I'll take it and clean it up again. Then I'll take a screenshot of it. So, um, then I'll just clean it up here. But when you see that there's actually these hidden formats within the text proves that they started with somebody else's words other than their own when uh, the bad guys took over or the uh, ones that set and meditate to have sex with the female goddess um, they took over the books and everything well just like that it took me what less than an hour yeah, less than an hour to do this one here. But now 20, well, this is, this goes back some time. So this one could be 2,700 years old. 20, I'd say it's definitely more than 2,400 years old. Uh, this text has been revealed as words from Elijah. Where everybody says they're from David, they aren't. <laughs> 